Our next speaker is uh, Dr. Raja Narayanan. Um, if you think Beijing Torrent Eye Center was impressive, he represents LV Prasad Eye Center, which is probably the top eye center in India. And they see also close to a million outpatients a year. And he's going to talk about something similar to what Professor Chang has covered. Uh, and Raja, please. Thank you very much. I thank the organizers for giving me the opportunity to present on Zibaflibercept and Bevacizumab and retinal vein occlusion. I'll be focusing mainly on branch vein occlusion. We all know historically that we have four anti-VHF agents available in general, starting from pegaptonib to aflibercept, but I'll be focusing on Zib aflibercept and Bevacizumab in my talk. So aflibercept is a fusion protein of VEGF R1 and R2 receptors, and it has a strong binding affinity to VEGF A, VEGF B, and placental growth factor. The Ziv aflibercept is approved for colorectal cancer. It was approved in 2012 by US FDA, but it can be used off-label for ophthalmological diseases. The major difference between Ziv aflibercept and aflibercept is the difference in osmolarity, osmolarity being 1,000 milliosmoles per kilogram in Ziv aflibercept and 300 milliosmoles per kilogram in aflibercept. We, are, we have commonly seen this picture of Lucentis and Avastin, but here I am showing Ilia and Zaltrap. The dose of Zaltrap is 100 milligram per 4 ml, which is about 25 milligram per ml. So if you take 0.05 ml of Zaltrap, you will get a dose of 1.25 milligram. So the key difference here is Ilia, if you inject, it's 2 milligram in 0.05 ml, whereas Zaltrap is 1.25 milligrams. So as I mentioned, the difference in osmolarity is important because way back in 1980, Mike Marmer had published that if the osmolarity of the vitreous increases beyond 500 milliosmoles, it can cause RP damage in animal eyes. The human eye vitreous volume is uh, a little bit larger than the uh, rabbit eyes and if you look at the osmolarity of ziv of 1,000 milliosmoles per kilogram, if we inject 0.05 ml in the human vitreous volume, <laughs> it gets significantly diluted, and the final uh, osmolarity is about 300 milliosmoles, which is similar to what aflibercept has. Our team, led by Dr. Jay Chavlani, published uh, last year on the toxicity and safety of ziv aflibercept in 12 eyes in retina, and we did not find any change on the ERG as well as clinically there were no signs of toxicity. So coming to our experience of Zaltrap in branch vein occlusion, we have so far in the last two years injected 88 eyes, out of which 57 eyes were treatment naive. And if you include, exclude patients who had better vision than 20 by 40, we could get a subset of 38 patients for analysis. Out of these, 17 were female, the mean follow-up was 6.82 months, and the mean number of injections was 1.45, which is significantly lower than in what you would expect in a clinical trial. So this was a retrospective study. If you look at the visual acuity, the baseline visual acuity was 20 by 125, and the final visual acuity is 20 by 60, which is about 15 letters of improvement. And 42% of eyes gained more than three lines. Now, if you recollect various other pivotal trials of branch vein occlusion, the usual gain, uh, 15 uh, letter gainers is about 60%, but here it was 42%. Examples here, this is a patient who had a baseline vision of 2200, and after one injection of ziv aflibercept, there was complete resolution of edema, but with any anti-VGF injection, there was a recurrence in this patient again, and this patient received four injections over 12 months, and you can see there's still uh, some fluid at 12 months. This patient had uh, acute onset vein occlusion with vision of 20 by 60, and with one injection, the uh, OCT completely dried up, vision came back to 2020, and at the end of six months, this patient uh, maintained a 2020 uh, 20 vision. This is another patient who had a baseline vision of 20 hundred, and with one injection, this patient had only a four month follow up, she didn't come beyond that, but at four months, there was significantly improved uh, OCT, although there was some amount of ischemia because of which the vision did not improve significantly. 
So looking at the uh, effect of avast in a branch vein occlusion from our own study, we had published a couple of years ago as a prospective study the results of Avastin and Lucentis. And what we found was that Avastin had a mean gain of 15.5 liters at the end of six months. And the mean number of injections which was given within the first six months was three. So compared to our prospective study of Avastin, the number of injections what we gave in Zaltrap in our patients was significantly less, although it was a retrospective study. So looking at some of the other considerations which I had mentioned that the dose of ziv is significantly less than aflibercept which is commercially available, we are currently doing studies with uh, 2 milligrams of ziv aflibercept but it increases the volume which we had to inject to 0.08 ml instead of 0.05 which could raise concerns on intraocular pressure as well as hyperosmolarity induced uh, toxicity. And so we have uh, looked at our ERG in these patients of 20 patients. Uh, uh, so we did not find any significant changes on ERG as well as the intraocular pressure. Uh, Dr. Jay Chaplani has also published uh, the cost effectiveness in Asia Pacific Journal of Ophthalmology a couple of months ago. And if you look at the vein occlusion data, uh, it is quite similar to Avastin of the cost per year in US dollars about uh, 240 for Avastin and 260 for Ziv with the dose of 1.25 milligram compared to the many, th many hundred times more for um, aflibercept or ranibizumab. So in summary, Ziv aflibercept may be an option in case of retinal vein occlusion, although it is off-label. The dose of Zaltrap, which is convenient to use, is slightly less than what is available commercially with Ilia. But we are doing currently studies with the newer dose of 2 milligrams in 0.08 ml, and larger prospective studies are required to validate our findings. Thank you very much for your kind attention.